It has been ages since I have been recording on here last. But we are finally back on the Ramblecraft server. With that said, I already need to pull out my bed and sleep because the sun is setting. I've not been recording on here for quite a while. I basically just needed a little bit of a short break um, from everything uh, on here. But we are now back and I intend to be back because there's a lot of stuff to do. We have a lot of projects to do. Um, in a previous episode, we set up this game right here um, where basically people can come and they can donate uh, sand and gravel and in return they have a chance of getting a reward. Now in the last episode, Chemistic actually got the jackpot and won a diamond block. But if you look in here, you can see the other diamond block that we added is gone. And that is because I saw, I saw who won it. I saw who won it. <laughs> Hocus um, won the other jackpot. So as much as I'm happy that people are actually winning these, um, they're winning them a little bit too quickly. <laughs> they're winning them a little bit too easily. So I think I'm gonna add something else here. Change the book, of course. There's still the potential of getting a diamond. So that's still there. Um, and I did ask for you guys' opinions if there were some other technique of randomizing so it wouldn't just be one out of nine of getting the diamond block and such. And I did see comments that actually suggested stuff and I will have a look at those. Thank you so much uh, for the support and feedback on that. Um, so I will be having to take a look at that. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, but I do want to see how much... That's bad. I do want to see how much we actually made. So we have actually made quite a bit more gravel than sand, apparently. But we have made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stacks of gravel and 2 stacks of sand. That is not bad at all. That will end, that, bleh, that will add up over time. So I guess that is the first thing that we need to do. Um, I guess I'll plop something in there um, after a bit. Now I just gotta take the book. And edit the book. There we go. I've changed it. Oh, there's a ch oh, and there's a chance to get a diamond. So co get collecting. Better, ja better jackpots will be coming soon, which they will. Um, as soon as I figure out how to do that. So that is our first act on here, um, on back on the server. Now in the last episode as well, uh, we were completely sold out on netherite. So we earned eight blocks of diamonds in the last episode. So I definitely need to restock that this episode as well. I don't think we've had any sales to the slime shop. I think I might have to lower the prices actually. I also want to add leads. So maybe we'll do that as well. Because if you remember in, I think it was last episode, we made the creeper farm. That has been very effective. We will take a look at that in just a moment. Speaking of which, we will be stocking up this shop today as well. Making the rocket shop here. Um... So that is something that we will be doing as well. Now this is made by Chemistic. Now there's nothing in here just yet. I'm very excited for when this opens up. Because this is this looks very interesting. I see a lot of chests. Let us go back through the portal. Actually, and of I believe have been doing some work down here in the nether. If you see here, well first off this has been cleared completely. But not only that, if we go down here. And then go down here. I don't know if I've showcased on this this yet but he has been making this amazing super fast transport where basically you pop out a boat and you sail with the boat on ice super super fast and he's made these stations and here when you come to the shopping district you hit the cactus the boat pops off into the item harbor and into the dropper absolutely genius now he has actually continued this if we just go down here and this actually leads to my base so i would love to be able to hook this up a little bit more close this off and hook this up properly over there so that is another thing we will probably do this episode as well ah the good old base so i have been afking over here by this creeper farm and it it has it has produced <laughs> it whoa i didn't realize it was so loud here i'll have to lower that um but if you look here, a lot of gunpowder and a lot of string as well. And you can hear this, the spiders dying as well. And as you can see, this chest is just filling up with gunpowder. This is filling up with string. All of this gunpowder will be used for rockets to stock up our rocket shop. 
today. That will happen today. Now, of course, to make rockets, you need paper. And for that, we have more than enough sugarcane laying here in these chests. All right, guys, I have made a little bit of a to-do list here. Let's take a look at it. So we got to restock the slime shop. We got to restock the riches. We got to add something to the lucky grain, something worth value. Uh, we got to open the fire workshop. So stock it, put up a sign, name it, etc. We got to relocate the beacon, which is currently in my inventory here. And then I have something secret at the end of this episode that I really want to do. It, it, I, I won't say what it is, just stay tuned, because it's going to be hilarious. So I think we will be starting with relocating, relocating, I can't fly, <laughs> relocating the beacon. So, uh, as a little bit of a thing here in the base, uh, as you can see, I've dug out this hole here, and that's because this will actually be an elevator shaft right here. So we will hopefully in the next episode start work on the basement of this thing, but to begin with, we need to place down this beacon and as you can see we have these torches here which actually lead out into glass and that is because i uh, i intend to have a beacon in each and every corner to make this look really cool so i guess we'll start with this corner so my intention is to go all the way down to bedrock with this i'm breaking the minecraft rules here by never digging straight down but i'm gonna do it anyway i hear <laughs> I, I hear i hear lava Where's some, ooh, bedrock, awesome. So now I need to basically mine out a nine by nine area. I actually just found diamonds doing this. <laughs> we actually struck diamonds, which you look at that. I wonder how big the vein is. I mean, I won't complain. It is by fortune pickaxe, so we can just go ahead and mine these. We just got 14 diamonds by relocating our beacon. Huh, this should be a nine by nine area. So this should now be good to be filled in with iron blocks this is a lot and there we go beacon has been placed and i just realized now that i don't have anything to activate it with other than diamonds but i'm not using a diamond for that i think haste uh is gonna be haste too because yeah because i will be mining in this area for the basement so this is gonna be interesting we wait Ooh, what you look at that? Nice. And there we go. I have moved the white down two blocks. And with that, we can then put over here, relocate beacon. Boom. Check mark. So we have done the relocate beacon. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of stuff to do. But I, I kind of like this. I kind of like this a lot, but a lot of small jobs that we have to do in this episode. That is one thing, by the way. I won't be doing this series once every week like I used to. I want to have more time to make the episode even better. So there could be two weeks in between. There could be three, depending on the project that I have to do. I don't want to rush things. I don't want to feel like I have to rush things or anything like that. Quality over quantity after all, right? Now, you may have noticed it says make ender farm safe. And that is something I added because there is a public ender farm, enderman farm down in the end. Um, that is really, really cool. But... It is, it, the bridge to get to it is very, very creepy. So let's just go over there. I need to repair my tools anyway. So this whole place looks absolutely amazing. And I think Bo it was Bubbo that actually like made made the whole farm. Um, I don't know if someone else then came and made changes to it. I don't know. But anyways, this is what I'm talking about right here. This path it's just eerie. <laughs> it's just not safe. I would not feel safe walking here unless I had an Elytra. Also, it doesn't look as nice as everything else around here. Um, these huts and that path. So, I kind of wanted to come here and take a look at... Well, how is the path made? And it looks like it's a three. Then it goes out. Then we have a roof here. And then I definitely want to add a fence. I don't think Enderman can spawn on fences, so since it seems like we have used oak, I guess we can use oak fences? I guess that works. That is a battle plan. Let's do it. So I don't think this is actually going to be too difficult. So, like if I just do that, if I take a bunch of this and just have it in my inventory. I have fireworks. I have a pretty healthy elytra. 
we should be good. So, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, so, if I just, to begin with, well, I'm going to have to place the fences as I go, I think. So, right here. So, what I'm going to do is something like that. I don't think that's going to look too terrible. And what we can then do is, of course, replace it with that, but then maybe add some glowstone in every now and then where there are torches. And maybe put some... I don't know. Or maybe... Just, whoops. Maybe just move the torches onto the fences. Or maybe we can put glowstone and put some carpet on it. I think that might actually look a little bit prettier. This already looks a whole lot better, so now I'm just going to replace this cobblestone with stone bricks and I will move the torches onto the fences I think because I don't really have any wool I might have well I have a lot of string but I, I actually think the torches is gonna look the best together with the oak I do want to maybe continue this it's a little bit eh, not very safe the oak doesn't look too bad does it I don't think it looks too bad this might look a little bit stupid. I could put it over there, but then it would hang over the edge. I think I'm going to leave this for now. I might return and change it later. Um, but if I haven't, and another Rampler has a great idea on how to make it safe and actually look good, um, feel free to do so. Because, um, yeah, the, this corner. I can, I can do everything except this corner. I hate it. It hates me. <laughs> <laughs> the fence hates me and yeah it's just yeah there we go I think that looks a lot better actually not gonna lie I like that now personally I think it would be better if I don't mind having this ceiling right here um, as long as it's not cobblestone <laughs> now this will stuff is gonna be tricky to deal with but i think if we just add this instead of the cobblestone now that is gonna look a lot better oh yes that is looking nice just gonna get some of those slabs over there and i guess i could use actually hmm these kind of slabs like polished andesite slabs that is better i think Let's have a look from a distance. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I guess we can now. Boom. That's another one done. So, I just returned. Um, a few days later, recording the, the last bit. And uh, I see this in front of my house. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> What, what happened while I was gone? Now in stock at Intervas Emporium. First one free. Well, let's... Ooh. Oh. You know, that... That's pretty good. Anyway, you just got yourself a customer because I... I might need those. <laughs> and I'm just gonna assume... <laughs> <laughs> that the box is included. <laughs> Anyways, um, what I wanted to do is I want to next restock the slime, f the the slime shop. <laughs> uh, I hate when that happens. We need obviously the slime, but not only that, I also want to make a bunch of leads. So let's get down here and fill up the shulkers. Look at all this slime we have in this one and in this one. This is a lot of slime. So I'm just gonna transfer all of it into these shelter boxes right here. I forget how much we need for leads. Oh, it's only four. Okay, let me know if there are other things that we could be selling that are slime related as well. Down below in the comments. All right, so we have the slime blocks here and we have the slimes here. Now I just gotta add that. And of course I brought signs. I didn't bring iron frames, but anyways, uh, let us... Why do I have so much slime? 32 slime balls for one diamond. Yeah, I can make that to one stack. These shulker boxes are now emptied. 
We can put these back in. Now I just gotta go back to base and change the prices because I was dumb and didn't do it beforehand and I need an item frame. All right, here we are. Item frame, lead, there we go. Have I named these? Nope, okay, good. Uh, one stack, 64, 64 diamonds, no, one stack. Uh, 64 leads, good, and I actually spelled it right. There we go. Let me know if we can sell anything else in this shop that is slime related in case I've missed something. Now while we're here, go over to end of our symporium and check. Uh, might have to buy more iron in the future. Five diamond seeds, that's actually not a bad deal at all. That's pretty good, I will remember that. We need to just stock this shop as well. Another issue is that has completely sold out, we need to stock it up. And the only way to do that, it's gonna be to mine some netherite. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna go out, I'm not gonna do the old uh, TNT trick that I did to begin with, that was fun. But right now, I just wanna go out maybe, I don't know, a thousand blocks, so uh, dig down and then just mine for like an hour or something like that. And then see what we get. Yeah, so uh, one hour mining session of getting ancient debris. Here we go. So it is time to be mining some netherite. It has been a while since I've done one of these um, time lapses where I actually speak to you guys and not just plop in some background music. Let me know down below in the comments actually which type of uh, time lapse you prefer. This kind where I talk to you or the other kind where it's just uh, music. Let me know. But anyways, I want to say sorry that the series have been taken so long between episodes, bet between the last episode and this one. But Rabblecraft is a series where I, I like to do bigger projects here. I like to do bigger projects and get a lot more things done per episode, which is also why it is taking a lot longer to produce one episode. Which is why you won't be seeing this series uh, once every week, but it could be delayed. It could be, as I said previously, two weeks in between three weeks. I'm not making any promises because it can vary from project to project. Maybe I'm doing a huge project, maybe I'm doing smaller projects, but even then maybe I want to do multiple smaller projects in one you get the idea i should say as well that if you don't think i do enough rebelcraft content i highly suggest that you check out the other rebels as well because they make excellent videos as well not just only rebelcraft videos but also uh, their other content is amazing as well so do check them out um or check out some of my other currently running series if you haven't done so yet. Um, maybe you'll like them. But anyways, that's enough of me rambling. I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the time lapse, and uh, I'll see you in a second. After grinding in the nether mines for about 30 minutes, not actually an hour, but 30 minutes, we came out with four netherite ingots. That should be hopefully pretty good for the netherite shop right now, hopefully. All right, bag of netherishes. And I'm gonna keep the price the same. There we go. Two type of blocks for one netherite ingot. So fellow ramblers, netherishes is back in stock. And oh dear, that was a very close up. <laughs> uh, when you also did this, I don't know why I didn't check that. Um, open fireworks shop, right. Right, right, right. So we need to open the fireworks shop and we need to add something to Lucky Grain. I need to convert a bunch of this stuff here into, well, fireworks. Let's see how this goes. So first we convert all that into, of course, paper. So I want one full shulker box of each type of fireworks. So there we go. That's a bunch of paper right there. Then we're gonna grab a bunch of gunpowder. All right, full inventory of gunpowder. So. So make it tier three firework. We need to do this, I believe. Firework rocket duration three. So that's three stacks right there. So that is pretty much one stack of paper and three stacks of gunpowder. Right. There we go, that is one full shulker box of tier three fireworks. That's that done. Then I just need to do the tier ones, which is basically all of these, I think, actually. I think that might do it. And there we go. That is a full shulker box of tier one firework rockets. And we still have loads of sugar cane. 
and we're out of gunpowder pretty much but I'll just have to AFK more in case we get sold out which I can imagine can happen pretty quickly all right I got a little bit of an idea for the lucky grain here for what we can add a totem of undying considering Endeavor is now selling totems of undying this bad boy right here is actually worth five diamonds because he's from to my knowledge is the only one who is selling them at the moment so that's not a bad price to get i'm gonna have to update the book real quick all right that has been done and now we shall proceed to sleep in just a moment oh there we go all right here we are and it is time so these are the fireworks right here i'm just gonna place these in here for now i'm gonna place a spruce stair like so facing like that and then we're gonna put a chest here and a chest here and then I'll do something fancy with some signs or some item frames pointing to these chests. And now I just need to basically unload all of the oh, wrong one, all of this into this. <laughs> there we go. They have been filled up. Now what I want to do is I want to add some detail on the outside here and there over here. They made this. Now I'm not going to make such a huge thing here, but I'm going to take inspiration from it. Um, because I kind of want something here. I think I'm getting on the right track here. All right, I think this will do for now. We have a rocket here. I added a sea lantern in here with a, a birch trap door. Don't know if that's a good call. I guess an eye trap door would have been better. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this down below in the comments. I just want this to kind of be lightened up. <laughs> <laughs> in the night but um yeah that that's that the final thing we don't have to do is place um these and i'm hoping this will work now i just want to compare prices i want to compare prices with kieran dev and also with endavar two stacks one diamond is tier one 64 rockets two diamonds tier three one diamond for one stack of the um of the tier one rockets. These are tier of flight duration tier one. So by prices, I, I'd say are pretty fair. I think they are fair. Um, so what I'm then gonna do is two diamonds for 64 tier three rockets, which is right here. Boom. And then I'm gonna point it to this chest like that. And over here, gonna have the one diamond for 64 tier one rockets, which is pretty much the same as Endava, but yeah, that's now, now he has competition. <laughs> You have competition now. Uh, open fire workshop has been completed. Rocket shop. Space. Yay. And we also added something to Lucky Grain. So that is the whole to-do list done. Except for this thing. A thingy. Um, no, we are missing one thing. And I've been excited to do this, this whole episode. <laughs> this is a personal opinion of mine but i don't think that there has been enough shall we say pranking on here for quite a while and i intend on fixing said issue now you may be wondering how are you gonna quote unquote fix this and i am very glad you asked because i have been inspired to do something quite sinister you see i'm a watcher of hermitcraft and i saw something there that i simply cannot not do here <laughs> it is pretty much that simple this should be all that we need this is what's gonna happen sand cactus and then uh, actually, before Cactus, Observer facing the right way. Then we have no block, and then we have Hay Bale. What this will do is the Cactus is randomly going to grow at the set interval that Minecraft has, and then this will be triggered. So, this will be hidden somewhere in some person's base, and all of a sudden, just out of random, they're just gonna hear every now and again and it's going to be a while before the next one grows 
we can even change the notes of that. So that's really cool. So that is my plan. Now, there are multiple people that I want to prank using this method. But there's only so much time that I have. I've chosen two people. Endavar is one because he has a huge base and I will assume that it's going to be easy, somewhat easy to find three spots. I'm going to place three of these in each Rambler's base um, today. And the other person, I am swinging between Beastly and Hocus. I'm kind of swinging between those two. But first, I gotta get to Endavar's base. And we'll take a look at his base and then we'll, um, we'll prank him. I think this will lead to his base. I've seen, I think I've seen this tunnel in his videos. So I've gotta, yes. Huh? Wait, end of our witch hunt. Oh wait, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Also, he's not online right now, so I'll just have to hope that he doesn't hop online while I'm doing this. Yes, this is his base. I hope I don't break anything by being here. <laughs> I've never been here in person, but wow. So that is what makes him all that iron, huh? All right. This place is enormous and all this is iron blocks. Okay, all of a sudden my sugarcane farm looks quite small. <laughs> Look at that thing. This place is huge. Oh, that's his honey farm. Oh my, this... This is gonna be difficult. This he's gonna okay. <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. I think I'm gonna try and go up. See where this leads. Okay. Well, I okay. That's his storage area. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> This place looks great. So this is the first one that I'm placing. I'm not going to show you where it is. I'm not going to show you where it is. That way you can't actually tell. Eh. <laughs> I'm very scared. <laughs> that way you can't actually say uh, where this stuff is. But there. That's one. That should work. I hope. All right. So I have planted the very first... Um, prank thingy thing. Now I need to plant, I think I need to plant one near the bees and then somehow figure out how to get one up in his storage area because that's obviously where he's going to spend some time. So I need to... Ow. I hope he's not selling honey. I really, I need honey. Either I need to do this or he needs to start selling. <laughs> this one I'm gonna change the tone of. Yeah, like that. Awesome. All right, now to the interesting task of doing it in his storage area. Like he obviously has storage here, but I have I have a feeling it will be most effective if we do it in his main storage area. The issue is this is on the surface. Like, how am I supposed to <laughs> do this? Is the que ow is the question? I think this will be. Perfect. All right. Hopefully that should be hearable from all places. Um, all right. So that's one place. I don't really know where I can fit in another. I could try, but I have one at the honey place. I have one near the sugarcane place and I have one near this place. So I think it's time we go to someone else's base and that's someone is one of my neighbors. All right, so my two neighbors are located in this direction. So one of them is Beastly and the other is Chemistic. Both of them live relatively near my base. Ah, yes, here we go. Beastly's base should be right over there. And look at that lighthouse. I absolutely love that lighthouse. But yes, this is Beastly's base right here and it looks amazing now I'm gonna make it very annoying to be here <laughs> I don't think I can really place anything here on top it would have to be down here ow in this amazing looking storage system area 
storage area. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, yes, he has some super smelter stuff and some auto farming. Ooh. That's cool. I think it's clear, though, what I have to do. What are the chances that he's going to enter this thing? Ugh. All right, I have put two in this base right here. I think we're going to do one more, and that is at Chemistic's base. Now, okay, so can I? I can. Ah, ow. <laughs> uh, Beastly, do you have a bed around here I can borrow? Right, so chemistic space should be... Oh, right there. Perfect. So it is not as big, but I'm sure I can fit it in somewhere. I really love this, though. I love this. Where can I put this thing? Where can I put it? All right, I've done it. Don't ask me how, but I've done it. <laughs> Awesome. So, beastly space, chemistic space, and end of our space has been pranked. And yeah, it's time to see if they discover my pranks. <laughs> so that is that secret thing that I wanted to do. So guys, we have completed the to-do list, and that is going to wrap up this Rabblecraft episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. I have a lot of stuff planned. In the next episode, we need to, um, to dig out this basement. Take out this basement right here. We need to follow down the pipe right here, which apparently I need to uh, repair because a creeper blew up here. Um, but yeah, we need to dig out this uh, basement and we need to figure something out for some storage system and whatnot um, because the storage in that place is just not cutting it and potentially getting some doors up. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and until next time, goodbye. Contalana, where do I see? Zapu, where do I see? Zapu, where do I see?